We are going into central London today. Assuming I can find my shoes. We get to go, of course. Taking the daily, taking the Kia. In we go. The problem with going into central London is you never know what the traffic's gonna be like. Look what I've just come across. 50th anniversary Roadster Aventador and GT2 RS. Anyways, we need to, ooh, look at this. Brown Mr. G-Wagon. All right, so we're here with the W Motors cars. We've got the Lycan right here. 3.4 million this thing costs. It's absolutely insane. Diamonds in the headlights, everything. But the real reason we're here today is for this, the Fenya. And I have to say a massive thank you to this person right here. Oh, me. Supercar Blondie, who has <laughs> organized this for me to be able to come along. So thank you so much for this. It's a pleasure. It's been awesome. Show us, this is the boot, which we were just saying <laughs> is- That you uh, may or may not be able to fit Yeah, into. comment if you think I would be able to fit in that boot. Bearing in mind, I'm not the largest human in the world. <laughs> Um, I, I actually light, think, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Right. I actually think I could maybe potentially get in there. 800 horsepower, isn't it? 800 horsepower, zero to 102.7 seconds. Uh, we're going to be able to drive this in London, which is crazy. And the interior, if you hop around maybe on that side, yeah. the doors are so light. Everything's in carbon fiber. All the details on the design, which I'll show you in a bit, are absolutely crazy. But once you hop in, you're into these really figure-hugging seats, yes. aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you might not want to put on too much weight. If you I know, I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm a bit tight in here. And as we've already mentioned, <laughs> I am not the largest person in the world. I heard you saying it earlier, very minimalistic in the design. Yeah. So you've only got a few buttons, um, which is awesome. A massive screen in the middle. I just can't wait. Also, I mean, driving this around London is going to be pretty crazy. We have no rear view yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So there's that, no rear view mirror. I mean, they were saying that it's a prototype at this stage, right? So yeah. on the outside is exactly what you're going to get if you buy this car. Okay. It will not change at all, like the shape of the right, car. Right. But obviously inside they're still tweaking it a little bit. So I'm sure, you know, when you get the car, you'll, you'll be have a rear view mirror. Back. That's the dash. It's probably the most futuristic dash I've ever seen. You know, remember the Lamborghini Reventon? Do you remember yeah. that? When yeah. that came out and it had a special dash, everyone went crazy. Whereas I haven't heard anyone mention this. I think they should mention it more because it's absolutely insane. It's cool, isn't it? I really like it. How's your video going today? 10 stars. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I, know. I, can, I can imagine. <laughs> I like to rank my own videos yeah, yeah. and say they're awesome. Yeah, it's um, great. <laughs> it is the sickest video ever to have hit the internet. Best video ever. It's going to break the internet. The internet, just like yeah. Just Beyonce's bottom. Yes. Is that, is that what it was, Beyonce's bottom? So. Or was see. it her baby bump? Maybe it was her baby bump? Maybe it was a combination. Yeah, right. yeah, probably. Yeah. Anywho, back to this car. <laughs> I don't know how we started talking about that. Spoiler Electric. controls. Oh, we've got to see the spoiler. G4, G4 sensor, hello. That's going to be useful around London. Oh, that's a target. Oh God, I've got a target on my back. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit There's scary. an airstrike about to come in. <laughs> yeah. What have you done, Sip? You have an observation for us, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, look at who's standing around the car and taking photos. The majority of these people are women. Yeah. That may be because I'm here. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> that was a joke, uh, joke, 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 joke. Sam, oh, such yeah. a big player. No, no, no. Um, no, but it's interesting to see because there are genuinely a lot of women who are interested in cars. And yeah. that's what we're trying to like, just bring more women into the car world. Because the interest is there. They're I think it's fantastic. They want to hear the engine. Oh, they want to hear the engine? They want to hear the engine. Okay, do we have the key? Do I have the key? God, get out. I'm yeah, all right. You, you have fun talking to the girls. Say hi from me, will you? As I mentioned, trying to do more videos is a pretty cool one. It's based on a roof-tuned Porsche engine, so you might be able to hear that. You ready? Ah. <laughs> I didn't see that there was a police van right there. <laughs> How does it sound from the outside? Even better. Yeah? Even better? I'm sure. Woo! Wing. Yes, there we go. That's the money shot. Oh. Okay, good luck. Here we go. Have thank fun. you so much. Let's do this. Hiya. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is insane feeling. God, you're so low down and it's such like a hard feeling ride already. No, wow, while, while you're in here, you know, the visibility is actually really not that bad. You're definitely in a cockpit. The seat holds you in really nicely. Now I'm gonna try and rattle off some stats. We're talking 800 horsepower, correct? 800 horsepower. 2.7 to 60? Correct. And making 110 of these. Yes. And they're gonna be 1.8 million dollars? 1.6. 1. 1. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's no problem then. I'm not gonna be able to comment on how it's handling really now, am I? It's obviously us driving it around London and I literally just hopped into this car 
and is not the easiest place in the world to drive. The Fenya, it's special, I can tell you that. It feels very special. All the materials feel very, 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 well, just expensive, don't they? I'm struggling to think of what to say, really. Are there any other cool stats? This one's got carbon ceramics, 1,300 kilos around there? Yeah, about the Let's not get into weight because it yeah. fluctuates on spec. Okay. 1,000 newton meters of torque. 1,000 newton meters of torque? Yeah. It's a wow. 3.8 flat six twin turbo. Yes. By roof. Roof. Top end of 400 kilometers an hour. Top end of 400 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I saw 245 miles an hour. I'm driving a 245 mile an hour hypercar around London is a pretty special feeling, guys. Not one that I can say you can have every day, but that's the concept of this car, is that in theory, you would be able to have it every day. It doesn't feel that much harder to drive than when I've driven like a Hurricane or anything like that. So you've got your lift system, so you can use that. And because it's based on a roof developed engine, they make very usable cars, don't they? We've got Buckingham Palace in front of us. Here, I'll just show you guys that quickly. This is my current view in the Fenya with Buckingham Palace in front. This is fairly ludicrous. I mean, I've been in the lucky enough position to drive some pretty cool cars in fairly random scenarios, but this is pretty high up there. <laughs> it's just so easy to drive. Double clutch, seven speed PDK, right? Correct. Yeah. It's been in. Great gearbox. It's not the standard PDK. Okay, so it's been the, tweaked with. The torque. It's not particularly wide. Often with these sort of really, really high performance cars, they feel incredibly wide. It's not a, a, a very large car. You know, you drive an Aventador or something, which you know, it doesn't have anywhere near the performance of this. And it really feels like a mission to drive around town. You really feel like you're in your cubby hole and man, does this thing attract attention as well. This isn't exactly a, uh, a track review, but... No, it's, the nice thing is it's not an intimidating car to drive. You can jump exactly. in the drop of a hat. I mean, that's exactly what happened then. And the key is it's usable. This yeah. is a track oriented road car. Yeah. But the emphasis is still being on road. Yeah. We want people to be able to say, well, I'm going off for the weekend, I'm going to go to the track, they get to the track, they do a lap, and then they say, well, I enjoyed my drive so much, I'm not going I'm to go straight down up. the motor, I'm going to go home on the A road, yeah. and I'm going to enjoy it again. Yeah. Sounds really nice. Yeah. It's a really good noise. It's strange, because sometimes when you've got a... Turbos, a turbo, twin turbos, yeah. The, the noise, but... You manage to retain, I, I mean, if you read the spec sheet, I knew it had the turbos, but if you just heard the car, you wouldn't necessarily know. Having jumped in it unexpectedly, why, hop in the car and, uh, and drive it across the busiest part of London. If I can hop in it and do that, I think that kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, because, I mean, I drove a Zonda and I remember thinking, wow, that was easy to drive, but I'd, I would not have been able to do what we just did. Thank you for holding the camera for me. Of course. Just want as many people driving as possible. Yeah, it's, it's exposure. Trust me, it is a pleasure. <laughs> We're back at the hotel, guys, so I'm going to have to hop out. Thank you. Handbrake or? Um, no, it's fine. Pull this. Suicide doors. And out we go. Wow. I can't believe I've just driven that around London. How was your drive? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I was about to scream in yeah. his face, amazing! Yeah, you're amazing! <laughs> As you wipe out a businessman. Yeah, exactly. No, was... Well, the thing is, I think we're going to have to test drive it somewhere else where there's not a, as much traffic. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Because it's got 800 horsepower, so you really... And we've driven it around... We've time. driven it around London. But it wasn't that intimidating, was it? No, no, it was really Which easy is to crazy. drive. Really yeah. easy to drive. And I mean, that's kind of what they're going for, right? Kind of an yeah. easy daily. Exactly. But just with a whole ton of horsepower. It's insane. And it gets so much attention. I mean, look at it. It's like icebergs. You know when icebergs, icebergs. like kind of like jut out? In yeah. Weird, in weird angles? Yeah. It kind of oh, reminds me of like see. an iceberg. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I see where you're like coming from. Yeah, kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Like it freezes over. It was cool it to see it driving as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It looks incredible on the road. Like the driving shots. Yeah, the driving or shots, or yeah. Insert here. I'm glad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> insert right now. Yeah. See, as I stand here pretty ludicrously behind the Leichard and the Fenya, uh, I think to how special this is. I mean, the fact that I can actually be given the opportunity to drive a hypercar around London, uh, massive thanks to Supercar Blondie because she did organize everything. Um, so that was awesome. Make sure to follow her. She's 
doing a lot of YouTube now, Instagram, Facebook, I'm sure you guys know. Couldn't really stretch its legs at all, but just having the experience and being able to see what the car feels like driving around here was, was very special. More videos will be coming very, very soon. Um, I can't promise all of them will be hypercars around London. I'm moving into my new house in a couple of days. I'm gonna be vlogging that. That's also, also very exciting. It's time to leave here walk up there to where I've parked my car and hopefully do not have a parking ticket. Bye bye Fenya, it's been pretty special. What a day guys, what a day. Hey. Let's go. Bet.